Hello everyone, myself Michael Ravina, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. The subject is CS3301 Data Structures. The unit is LIST. In this video, we are going to discuss about Circular Link List. Circular Link List is similar to Singly Link List except that the last node contain a pointer to the first node of the list. There are two types of the circular link list. First one is a circular singly link list. Then second one is a circular doubly link list. This is the representation of the circular link list. Then inserting a new node in the circular link list means here also some cases are available. First in first case in the new node is inserted at the beginning of the circular link list we want to add the new node data 9 with the as the first node of the list then the following changes can be done in the link list at first this is the algorithm in the step 1 which first check whether the memory is available for the new node if it is if the free memory is exhausted then the overflow message is printed otherwise if free memory cell is available then we locate the space for the new node set its data part with the given value and next part is initialized with the address of the first node of the list which is stored in start now since the new node is added as the first node to the list it will now we know as the start node that is the start pointer variable hold the address of the new node while inserting a node in a circular link list we have to use a while loop to traverse the to the last node of the list because the last node of last node contain a pointer to the start its next field is updated so that after inserting insertion it points to the new node which will be known as start node in the second case the new node is inserted at the end of the circular link list this is the algorithm for uh, inserting the new uh, node is the end of the circular link list at the sa uh, same points are same but the difference in the sixth pointer, uh, sixth step is that uh, we take pointer variable pointer and initialize with the start. Then the pointer now points to the first node of the link list. In the, if we did the in the while loop, we traverse through the link list to reach the last node. Once we reach the last node, we change the next pointer to the last node to store the address of the new node. Remember that the next field is the new node that contains the address of the first node which is denoted by denoted as start. Then next one is the deleting the new node from the link list. There are also two cases. First one is the first node is deleted. In the second case, this last node is deleted. Uh, here we, uh, when we want to delete a node from the beginning of the list the following changes will be done in the link list this is the algorithm for the deletion in this step one the algorithm check will check if the link list exists or not if start equal to null then it signifies that there there are no nodes in the list and control is transferred to the last statement of the algorithm However, if there are nodes in the link list, then we use the pointer variable pointer which will be used to, to traverse the list to ultimately reach the last node. In this step by we change the next pointer of the last node to the point to the second node of the circular link list. In this step 6, the memory occupied by the first node is free. Finally, in this step 7, second node now become the first node of the list and its address is stored in the pointer variable start then next one is the second case the last suppose which is the last node is deleted here we take the pointer variable and initialize it with the start that is the pointer now points to the first node of the link list 
in the while loop we can take another variable and point it to the variable once we reach the last node and the second last node we set the next pointer to the second last node to the start so that it comes become the last node of the linked list the memory of the previous last node is freed and returned to the free pool thank you